What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Oregon Real Fishing video. Today I'm going to be shopping for fishing gear for the coast. This is a big, uh, big long video today, coast fishing video. And this is just the first phase. We got to go uh, shopping for some bait, some artificial lures, and just all kinds of stuff. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Had to make a quick stop at Pan Express. Alright, we have made it to Sportsman's Warehouse. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to film in there, but I'm going to bring the camera just in case. Just the, the little sessions what I'm filming with now, so it should be pretty hidden. I don't know what we're going to get, we're going to check it out. Okay, now for a little unboxing, or I guess unbagging. The sand shrimp that I need to go put in the fridge, those, that's gonna be like a, kind of my backup plan, kind of a live bait backup plan. These zoom worms, they are, okay, it doesn't say how long they are, but they look like they're about seven inches, maybe six inches. Then we also got the rage tail, rage swimmer. We've got the go-to for surf fishing here, Berkeley Gulp. And then we also got, even though I said I would never buy Guggenbaits again, we got Guggenbait Mondo Worm because it's the closest thing I could find to what I was catching them on last time, which was like about an 8-inch curly tail worm. This one's 10 inches. It should do the trick. Okay, we got Texas Rick Hooks, more Texas Rick Hooks. I already have a bunch. But enough talking about gear, enough talking about rigs. Let's get out on the water. All right, you guys, we made it down to the beach. We are going to start out with a little surf fishing. If this doesn't work out, we're going to go fish on the rocks at the jetty, the Newport jetty. So I will see you guys once we're down there. Berkeley Gulps, bait of choice right here. I'm fishing a high-low rig. Basically, I have a sinker on bottom with three ounce. I have one hook above that, and then above that I have another hook. I'm gonna put one of these on each hook. I think my dad's doing the same. These things smell kind of like squid or shrimp. Just wish I'd get out there further. Oh, that's a bite. That was a bite, guys, that's a bite. Yep, yep, he's biting it. He's seriously biting it. Did it twice and I missed him. That's crazy, I actually got a bite. I can't even believe this. Really wasn't expecting anything out of here. Oh yeah, he definitely caught one. The question is how big. That's so cool. Okay, I'm going over there. My dad may have found a school of them, who knows. He's using a Silver Max, an Alba Garcia Silver Max spinning combo. Really not a long rod, not really made for surf fishing, but he always has luck on that thing. How big was it? Oh, uh, small. That's cool though. Dude, I got two bites on one cast and that's it. No fish. All right guys, we've made it down to Yaquina Head. It's a uh, a little rock fishing spot. Not very many people fish here. I think we're the only ones who really fish here. Don't worry, this is totally public. We're not breaking any rules. So we're starting out with the Texas Rig Rage Swimmer, 4.75 inch with a 
half ounce bullet weight. Heard people say that white is Lingcod's favorite color, so I made sure to get a white soft plastic when I went shopping. Oh, I thought that was a bite. I don't know if it was or not, it might have been a rock. Oh, oh dude, he's tapping it. I don't think that's a rock. Cause I, I dropped it and I felt a tap, unless it's just really bumping. I'm getting a bite. A bite? Yeah. Like a for sure bite? Oh dang, you got a fish? Dude, that was so fast. That was impossibly fast. Is he on? Yeah. Oh, he got off. That was a bite, man. Dude, that was so fast. I know it was a bite. I was looking at your rod. Dang, I'm hung up already. Oh, got it back, got it back. Dang. Well, I think we are gonna go buy some more shrimp. Probably hit the jetty. All right, we are in Newport looking for shrimp. This is the third place we've checked. Hopefully they have it. This place is closed. Harry's bait and tackle. I'm rating you zero stars because you weren't open. That's on you. It's a Friday, middle of the day. They should be open. I'm just saying. Who knew it'd be the hardest thing in the world to find shrimp for bait in a coastal town? So we have found frozen shrimp. We got uh, three dozen. Shout out to Staby Dave's. They were the only place in town that had shrimp. Everyone else was out. So now that we finally have our bait, we're gonna get out and get some lines in the water. If you leave me to my own device, I never have to compromise. The city is like a jungle, I gotta make it mine. Put my fears right out of sight, beat the hustle, better get it right. In a game where the strong survive, only the strong survive. All right, like half of the shrimp came off when I casted. Probably not gonna get a bite on that, but we'll see. You never know. Are you kidding me? I have a fish, dude. I have a fish. What is this? What the heck? I snagged a bait fish? Bro, I just snagged like a mackerel. Oh my gosh, get back here, get back here. What is this? I snagged something. I don't even know what that is. It's so colorful. It might be like, comment down below what that is. I snagged this thing. I don't know what it is. Micro fishing the Oregon coast for unknown species. Oh dude, he's got scar on both sides. Like something just now chased him in. He looks like a, maybe a little mackerel or a sardine or something. Bro, you know what I'll bet happened? I'll bet. He, so a fish was chasing this. I thought I got a bite from the fish. He was chasing this and then I hooked this. Oh, I just got bumped. Oh, fish, fish. Oh, he got off, dang it. I don't know, it was decent. It was either a lingcod or a rock bass, I'll guarantee you. Oh my gosh, bro. He bumped it and then I, I let it drop and then I jerked and he was on and then he just got off right at the shoreline oh my gosh dude i'm gonna walk the shoreline and try to try to do that i was just jigging it and he was just there dude i might need you as a net guy i see a big rock is this a fish no i don't think so it feels like oh oh it is a, oh my gosh it came off i didn't think it was a fish and then it started fighting Bro, I thought it was kelp. And then it started just like absolutely tugging. Dang. I don't know, it didn't, it felt like about a pound and a half-ish. I can't believe that was a fish. I missed another one just because I didn't know it was a fish. All right guys, this trip is uh, coming near to an end. We're not technically done yet. Still hoping can luck out and get a fish. 
I don't think we're coming back to the coast for a long time. Like a long, long time. Check this out. I'm almost there. I can tell I'm making some serious ground right now. <laughs> 